so today I'm going to be working on um, whatever this guy's name is. I always forget. Twice Born is his second name. I don't remember what his first name is. Mid Midabax or Mid Mibagax or something. I don't know. Something Twice Born. So I've already started, as you can see. I uh, done most of the skin of the dude of the the right or the the mount, I should say. I'm gonna start. I'm gonna do some. Start with some skeleton horde, and I'm just gonna do this all over the horns of this guy. Uh, I'm just gonna water it down a tiny bit by just making sure my brush is wet when I put it in the skeleton horde. Nothing spectacularly fancy, just to water it down a tiny bit. And then I'm just going to paint this all over the horns. And like I said, I'm going to dip the dip the brush in the water between every single reapplication of paint onto the brush just to keep it a slightly watered down but not incredibly watered down. Just cuz I don't want to lose the the undertone of the Rackarth flesh that I used on the bone. I want to keep that around. So I don't want the contrast paint to overpower it. And this dude does have a lot of horns, so might be here for a minute getting these in. But uh, as I've said before, when I've painted Nurgle, um, it can be a little messy with this, especially on this kind of model. Um, if you get some skeleton horde off of the horns onto something else, it's not a big deal because Nurgle models are dirty. So who knows what grit and grime might be lurking in them. Just going to give my paint a little shake. Alrighty. Missed the spot in here. There we go. And on a couple horns... Like this one, for instance, uh, I didn't dip my brush in the water first, just so that every every couple horns one is just a little darker. It might not be something that anyone will ever notice, but you know, it just adds a little bit of pizzazz to the miniature. Oh, I gotta get the back side of this one. And when I, if you're watching this on YouTube, uh, I'm filming this on the first Monday night of the NFL season. And when I started this stream, the Steelers were losing. I'm hoping by the time the stream is over that they are winning again. We're not winning again, winning at all. They haven't been winning this whole game yet. So here's hoping. We're going to see. And like I was saying about how sometimes thinning down this paint, sometimes not, you just want to make sure that you either thin it down or don't thin it down for the entire horn or hoof you're painting. You don't want one side to look darker than the other. Two horns next to each other, not a problem at all. Those can be different, but horns that are, are two sides of the same horn, that's no good. I'm going to shake this paint up again. Need some more oomph. And get this big old horn in there.
thought I saw spotting on the camera. I thought I saw a big blue splotch on this horn, but it's just on that nail going through it. So we'll be okay. I'm going to do the metallics maybe right after this, the horn color, in fact. So. So I'm going to come back and probably re-highlight with the same color uh, that the, the horns were base coated in, which is Rackarth Flush. And then after that, maybe come back with a one step up, maybe even a pale white, and highlight the horns a second time. But definitely going to go back with the, with the same color first. It's easier. And honestly, I'm depending on time, I may not even do that. I might just dry brush them with a pale white and call it a day. We'll see. These are big and cool models, but I also don't want to spend hours and hours on each one. Two hours each, I think, is uh, about the limit that I'm willing to spend on them. Um, they're... They're not going to be in any of my competitive armies by any stretch of the imagination. They're just for fun, basically. So, if I was going to put them in a competition, or if they were going to be in my competitive army, they might get a little more love, but... They're not planning on being entered in any competitions. And... They are not in a competitive army. Which is unfortunate, because, like, these might take the cake for AOS model that is the coolest while simultaneously being the worst in-game. Like, if you, if you could quantify both those stats, coolness, and good in the game, and, like, you divided them, or multiplied them, maybe? No, you'd have to divide them divide coolness by goodness these guys would have the smallest number or the biggest number I don't know I've lost track of the analogy but you know they look really cool their rules are really bad done alright just making sure I didn't get only half of a horn anywhere I think I got both sides of every horn. Just have to do this hoof down here. And then I'm either gonna I think I'm actually gonna do the skin of the rider next. So that I can start drying. And then I'll work on the metallic. Large Nurgle spawn, yes, indeed. I wish you could, actually, I was about to say I wish you could summon this guy. But now I'm wondering, you might be able to, come to think of it. I'm not sure now. It would be really cool to summon this guy. I have a feeling you can't, though. Oh, you know what I forgot? I forgot to do his teeth. Getting this skeleton horde right back out. And let me do his teeth in this color real quick. And this guy's got like six rows of teeth here, so I'm just gonna make sure that I get all of them. There we go. Oh, and then there's some thorns on his tongue here, which is kind of weird. But I'm gonna do them in this color also. Since I base coated them in Rhino, or, uh, Rackarth flesh, that one. I'll uh, I'll follow the rest of the pattern here. There we go. I think that's all of it. So then I'm going to move on to the rider's skin tone. I'm going to start with Space Wolves Gray contrast. I'm going to shake this up a good bit. It's been a while since I've used this, so. Oh, 
Now this is going to go on the skin of the rider as well as the skin of the nurgling here. Stirring up my coffee one second. There we go. All right. So skin of the nurgling and skin of the rider. This contrast paint covers pretty terribly, to be honest. But I'm going to jazz it up a little bit with some other contrast paint and some highlights. And I used it before on my some Nurgle stuff, and it looked all right. So I'll stick with it. Make the army cohesive. Okay. The armor obviously will be a different color, but because we're painting that afterward, we can afford to be a little messy and uh, just go all out. The, the light blue that you see on here is from a previous paint job, previous uh, paint job that was started, not finished. Um, so we'll be painting over that. No big deal. Just make sure to get all of his skin, including his tentacles and whatever else there might be on him. I think. Oh, no. He's got a little bit more skin and stuff back here. There we go. All right, I think that's all. Looks like about all of his skin. So that'll be good for right this second. Next, I'm gonna do this little blanket that he's sitting on. I guess it's his saddle. Uh, I'm gonna do that in Fire Slayer flesh. This is basically Darkoath flesh with less pigment, as far as I'm concerned. It seems to be almost exactly the same color. But just more medium or less pigment or whatever. But this is the good color. I don't want the uh, I don't want this blanket to be super super saturated and stick out like a sore thumb against the rest of his body, which is a lighter shade of green. If I had painted the body of the mount like a forest green or Kelly green even, then maybe I would have gone with a darker color on this saddle, but I'm not even necessarily darker, but more pigmented. This will work just fine though. And I'm also thinking about, since I have the other two of these Three rider guys thinking about what's going to look good on them also it's always something to keep in mind if you're trying to paint multiple models with a theme is to make sure your theme is going to look good on every one of the models all right that'll work i think i'm going to go and add some pus places now just because it'll be fun i enjoy adding pus so of course an orgles rot the best pus that anyone ever makes has ever made except first I'm gonna touch up with space wolf's gray real quick i see i missed the inside of that arm there we go now on to pus and i'm just gonna put this basically filling every hole that you see in him as well as on his guts and stuff like that so i'm just gonna put a put a drop of it in here put some around there Fill his guts up with some. I don't look that works. Maybe a little bit more down here. Definitely on this, this part of the tongue up here. Just so it looks really 
wet and disgusting. Put some on the teeth, maybe. Because this stuff dries with a sheen to it, so it'll look unlike most paint, which dries matte or satin. This will dry with quite a high sheen, gloss or semi gloss. So this will continue to look like pus when he's all dry. And we're just going to fill in these holes with some. Let me put a little around these. And this is really just like kind of putting it in wherever you feel like it. He's a Nargle demon, so it's not like you need to be accurate or like precise with where you put the pus. He'd be coated. He'd be pretty well coated. But I am trying to make it like these holes in him are are leaking potentially. Maybe put a couple drips like that coming out of him. And as far as I've been able to tell, this stuff shrinks a little bit when it uh, when it dries, so the the holes will retain their definition. Even though I'm putting it in these pretty thick. Put some around there. And then I'll put some in the horns here. Where they've sort of cracked open. I think that's the only place where that's really happened. Yep. And I'll put some down here. Maybe up here. You just kind of do it when you do this. You're just trying to find places where it's just there isn't enough and just kind of throw it on there. Great about here. That should be good. I think that's good. He's got a good amount of pus on him. Don't want to go crazy overboard with it, just a little bit overboard. All right, so then I think I'll do the metal on him. So I'm going to do that in Brass Scorpion. Then the skin on our guy should be dark or dry enough by this point after we do the Brass Scorpion that we can go back in and do some of the secondary colors. But basically anything that's metal on this guy, I'm going to paint this color, except the armor. I'm not sure what I'm going to do with the armor yet. Cannot summon him. Darn. That would have been cool. That would have been cool. I wonder why I thought you could. Strange. Um... But yeah, I'm not sure what I'm going to do on this armor first. On the the Glotkin that I did, I did uh, the Rider's armor in Plague Bear flesh, the contrast paint. But that's also what I did the skin of the Glotkin in. And it looks a little strange, but I might do it anyway. Because strange is not exactly a foreign concept in Nurgle. So we'll see. I may do something else, but that's why I'm going to leave it. Probably finish most of the rest of the paint job and then decide on the armor. Probably only going to go about another 10 or 15 more minutes here because the Steelers game is on. And I would like to watch as much as possible. But we'll have gone for about 30 minutes or so when I wrap up here, so... I think that's respectable. Just making sure to get all the faces on these or nails, whatever they are. There we 
we go. Oh. Turning this guy every which way. And trying to keep it on camera. He's a large model. I think he's the largest model I've painted on stream, if I recall. Um, yeah, I didn't paint... Uh, I haven't painted like the Star Drake or anything on stream. Painted the Chimera. Was going to paint a black dragon at one point, but then didn't. So yeah. I think this would be the biggest model so far. I'm hoping to have a dragon for Wednesday's stream. Don't know if that's gonna happen yet though. I gotta figure that out. All right, what else? Oh, he's got some more nails here. I'm also deciding, again, if you're watching on YouTube, uh, this is the, the Monday after the Lionel Johnson figure came out, uh, the new model from Forge World. Deciding if I want to put him the painting of him on stream or not. I think it's going to take a fair bit more than an hour to paint him. I don't know if I want a second ongoing series. Um, I'm doing the battle mat on Fridays. don't know if I want to take up Mondays with him for a couple weeks. But I'll think about it. I will think about it. Alright, I noticed a spot where I missed some pus. So I'm going to go back to the Nurgle's Rot here. And do this drip hanging off his tail. Make sure that's all pussy. There we go. Wonderful. Alrighty. Now, I think I'm going to do... I was going to do some more. I was going to go back in with the Rackarth flush on the horns. But I think I'm not going to do that. I think I'm just going to go straight into the Vampiric Highlight. And just do a little bit of highlighting with this on the horns. If I can get any to come out of my pot, that is. Or my bottle. Just take a, take a poker and see if we can poke the clog out. No? Fine. Sometimes, you know, everyone talks about how how much better pots are than, uh, or rather, how much better bottles are, dropper bottles are than pots, but man, pots can't get clogged, I will say that. Maybe I'm just not taking care of my bottles correctly, but clogs drive me up the wall. Alright, let's see if that did anything. There we go. We officially have paint. Wonderful. All right, so then I'm gonna take that and how am I gonna do this? There's multiple methods to uh, to highlighting horns. I think I'm just gonna do it like this. I'm just gonna sort of at random just come down from the top of the horn and uh, just in random streaks pulling up to the top of the horn. Just kind of make lines like this. You want to make sure your tip on your brush is pretty well defined for this. You don't want it to look too streaky. Or too much like a dry brush, I guess I'll say. You want it to have semi-defined lines in this pattern. So I'm just gonna just gonna do this on the tips of these. And for the smaller ones, as you can see, I'm not being too careful. I'm just kind of putting some white near the tips of them. Okay. All right, 
just in the interest of time I'm just gonna do that on those and then I will come back and do the other part I'm gonna use some steel legion drab for this and we're just gonna do the same thing but on the bottom of the horn basically uh, I'm gonna be a little more careful about this part and I'm just gonna draw I won't use that horn as an example I'm just gonna do like this coming up from the bottom coming up like that just so there's three pretty well-defined colors on the on the uh, on each horn And then I'll probably go back and re-ink these horns just to blend them together a little bit with the uh, with the uh, skeleton horde contrast I did, just to bring those three colors back together. But that's the basic idea of getting those horns done. I'm not going to do every horn right now just because it would be a little tedious. I am going to highlight his teeth a little bit though. Just on the the tips of them, like that. Alrighty, and flip them over. There we go. Just so his teeth are just a little bit brighter and let me just check the time yeah we made it to 30 minutes that'll do short stream tonight but like i said steelers are playing steelers won't be playing every monday so on and monday night football is usually later so normal monday streams will be an hour as usual but tonight the steelers are calling me uh thank you everybody for watching uh, on Wednesday at 1 p.m. I'll be back on the main Galactic channel uh, doing something beginner related, possibly a dragon, something D and D or some something like that, some more general thing than Warhammer. Uh, and then Friday I'll be doing more work on the battle mat, and then Monday next week we'll start all over again without the Steelers interrupting this time. As far as I know, I don't think they play next Monday. Anyway, thank you everybody for watching, and I will see you next time.